Okay, so the Dogecoin millionaire just said this about what he expects in the future in terms of the top five cryptocurrencies by market cap. He expects Dogecoin to be number one. Put your list down below in the comment section. In five years, what are the top five cryptocurrencies by market cap? Love to hear from you. Can't wait to see your list down below in the comment section. Also, give this video a thumbs up because you already know it's going to be a good one when we're talking about the Dogecoin millionaire. We're also going to talk about the Dogecoin foundation in this video and uh, briefly talk about the overall market. So we'll start right there because we got coin market cap up. So, uh, oh yeah, Patreon link down below in the description if that is something that interests you. Right now, market is relatively flat, 2.10 trillion uh, market cap globally. And Dogecoin in particular down about 2%, 28 cents right now, sitting at 37 billion in market cap. Uh, right on the uh, you know 30 cent line is where we've seen Dogecoin hover at for quite some time. I do think a breakout is imminent still in this cycle. We'll get to that in a little bit. But let's jump in here. Dogecoin Millionaire says he's going all in on Cardano now, bullish on both Doge and ADA. So the millionaire who invested all of his savings in the meme cryptocurrency earlier this year says he is now going all in on Cardano, calling it the next best bet. He is bullish on both cryptocurrencies. He's a 33-year-old living out in LA. He explained that he now plans to invest in another cryptocurrency, and his pick is ADA. Nothing that he does, uh, not uh, noting that he does not plan to sell any of his Dogecoin. I'm going to start buying up as much Cardano as humanly possible with every bit of money I start making from now on. He tweeted Thursday that in the next five years, the top five cryptocurrencies will be, and this is coming from him, Dogecoin, number one, Ethereum, number two, Bitcoin, number three, Cardano, number four, and XRP, number five. So that is his list. Let me know your list, again, down below in the comments section. I'll give you mine real quick. I'm going to go with Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cardano, Solana, and XRP. I'll put those in my top five right now. He explains that since he did not buy Ethereum early on, he views Cardano as the next best bet. The Dogecoin millionaire plans to wait until there's a dip in the price of ADA to begin buying. He is bullish on both Dogecoin and Cardano now, emphasizing that it's still early on for ADA, he uh, uh, opinioned. I'm going to be the biggest Cardano supporter. I'm just waiting on a massive dip before buying into it. So now that we've got the Dogecoin millionaire getting into Cardano, does that make you feel a little bit better? If you're holding some ADA, I'd love to hear from you on that front too. Now let's jump into the Dogecoin Foundation because we're expecting big things. The roadmap has not yet been upgraded here or updated on the website. We're going to get to there in uh, just a minute. But if, uh, if, if you didn't see this, the Dogecoin Foundation is now back in action uh, it was established in 2014 to provide governance and support for Dogecoin. In 2021, the foundation has been reinvigorated by members. It was kind of dormant there for six years uh, while Dogecoin was dormant itself, right? Now uh, you can read about the foundation's guiding principles in the Dogecoin manifesto. Now, if we pull up the uh, roadmap here, you can see, watch this space, technical and project roadmap for the foundation is being drafted and will be announced shortly. So really looking forward to that. A couple uh, pieces of news here. You'll continue to watch these. You can see these are really recent this month. Uh, neither the Dogecoin project or the Dogecoin foundation or any affiliated developers or entities have partnered with MoonRabbit or any affiliated entities, including the purported Dogecoin Foundation using the domain doge.org. This purported organization and domain are, as far as we have been able to ascertain, run by the same people who run MoonRabbit. As such, any claim of partnering up appears to be designed to create a false appearance of partnership and association with the long-established Dogecoin project and Dogecoin Foundation. So this is going to be the website where you're going to see the latest and greatest news and also some things that come up that, you know, could be... Uh, a little out in left field, right? Like this, right? They're going to just kind of clear the air. So it's good to have this all in place. Now, what I want to transition to in this video is the fact that Vitalik Buterin, the uh, co-founder of Ethereum, is a member, is an advisor now on this committee. What does that mean for the future of Dogecoin and Ethereum? Now, we could speculate. That's all we can really do. Why would Vitalik join forces with the Dogecoin team? Does he see them as a threat or a competitor? Probably not. If he's already 
you know, joining up with the number seven cryptocurrency. Now, here's the big question. Will and is this his plan to bring Dogecoin into the Ethereum ecosystem and have Dogecoin be a currency that people can transact with within the Ethereum network? We do know this. Mark Cuban, who is the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, has made, I think, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin available to use in the Dallas Mavericks store. There might be another one. I might be missing one there. But basically, here's the, here's the skinny. Here's the important information. People are electing to use Dogecoin over anything else. When people look at Bitcoin, it's a store of value. People really don't want to use it to transact with. They want to keep it uh, because they know it's going to go up in value and it's kind of the reserve currency, right? Whereas Dogecoin is a lot more transactional. So I'm really going to be interested to see what the new outlook for Dogecoin looks like once they update this section of the uh, roadmap. For instance, if we see Dogecoin in the future somehow moving to a proof of stake, right, that would lend itself to the Ethereum network. If there's any ties to Ethereum at all, uh, when we hear more in terms of the foundation drafting up uh, the project roadmap, it's going to be interesting to watch because I think there's going to be some tie in here. Because here's my thinking. Why would Vitalik get into this space with Dogecoin if he didn't think it would benefit Ethereum and the current project that he has worked so hard to create and maintain with Ethereum 2.0 rolling out soon? He's got a lot of it. He's got a lot on his plate. Why would he get into Dogecoin just for the heck of it? I think there's going to be some tie in here. Of course, not a financial advisor. I'm just trying to piece the uh, the, the puzzle pieces together if you will. All right? But we're going to be watching it very closely because I think Dogecoin, regardless of a connection with Ethereum, is going to do well, especially in these next four months leading into 2022. When it's then, I think Dogecoin will reach that infamous amount, right? That $1 mark. And I think it's coming sooner than people think. I think early 2022, when Elon sends the rocket, the Doge One rocket, it's interesting too that Elon has not mentioned Doge a lot lately. It seems as if he's working hard to kind of get the roadmap for the Dogecoin uh, Foundation settled. But here's the thing. You can believe, you, can, you, you better believe that once this roadmap is out there, you know who's going to tweet it out. Elon's going to say, hey, the Dogecoin Foundation roadmap is live. Boom. What's going to happen to the price in the short term? I think it'll go up. I know a lot of people have said, well, he's not you know, influencing the price as much anymore. I think when the entire market is booming and Elon's going to talk more about Dogecoin with the Dogecoin Foundation roadmap, the Doge One rocket, it's going to be a big catalyst and it'll be a series of catalysts that I think will help Dogecoin reach $1. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know every time we put out another one. And let me know those top five. Is it similar to the Dogecoin Millionaire? Dogecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin, Cardano, XRP. Can't wait to hear from you down below in the comments section. See you in the next one.